Hi, my name is Sophia from The Drink Talking and this is a video blog about how you can buy better wine. So today I want to talk to you about Ribera de Duero, one of my favorite wine regions. It's a wine region in Spain. Now Spain has a wealth of regions for you to explore. There's flipping loads. And you can always tell the name of where they come from by the sticker on the back of the bottle. It will indicate exactly where it comes from. So this is Ribera del Duero written right there. So Ribera del Duero location is, um, imagine you've got Madrid and the northern coast. It's smack bang in the middle. And obviously the most famous wine region in Spain is Rioja. And Ribera is just below Rioja. Ribera del Duero is like sizzling hot in temperature. But what it's got on its side is altitude mountains that elevate the vineyards which has a real cooling effect at night and it extends the growing period. It means that the grapes can hang on the vine right the way into October and November and develop big bold fruity ripe characteristics. The grape they use is the same as Rioja Tempranillo. However, they call it two different names just to keep you on your toes. This is Tinto del País and Tinto Fino is what they call it. Now, typically you find a lot of strawberry raspberry notes in this Tempranillo grape. However, in Ribera del Duero it turns dark and brambly like blackberry cheesecake. And what I like most is it tends to get these chewy, almost like firm tannins to the wine that tastes almost dusty, which I love. So, if you, oh, also in Ribera del Duero, it is roast lamb country. So if ever you're having roast lamb, then you've got to think Ribera del Duero. Uh, look out for them. They're all over the place. And next time you're reaching for a Rioja, give Ribera del Duero a try. I had this one the other night. Um, I bought it in booths in Ilkley. It was 11.25 and we had it at dinner and everybody loved it. It was ace.